So the most common question I get asked on videos is about gear, which I completely understand. I spend a large amount of my time out running. I want gear that's comfortable. I want gear that works. I spend a lot of money trying different stuff, figuring out what works best. I've realized that there's a lot of stuff out there that I don't think that's that great. So this is all my favorite pieces of kit, shirt, shorts, socks, shoes, everything. Probably the thing that I've been the most picky with out of any piece of gear is running shirts. I've found it extremely hard to find a good fitting running shirt. I hate slim fitting shirts, I always have most running shirts are a slim fit, they have short sleeves, I find them always too short down here around the waist. So my favourite shirt of all time is the Marmont Windridge shirt, unfortunately they don't make these anymore but you can still find them plenty of places online. It's just a basic standard tech tee but it fits like a regular t-shirt the sleeves are long enough it's got plenty of length down on the waist there's nothing special about it just it works <laughs> I've had it for a, probably a bit over a year I've ran every race in it since I've had it it's just my go-to it's all stained and gross but it's my favorite shirt another thing I'm super picky with socks these are stance momentum crew socks it's got to be crew I can't stand ankle socks these are reasonably thin they got some cushioning on the bottom they're just nice and comfortable they don't give me any blisters this is my favorite pair in particular and I just looked up in my emails when I ordered these nearly a year and a half ago done every race in them since I got them and I've trained in them most days as well and they've only just blown this tiny hole in the toe a few days ago so that's pretty good going pretty good wear out of a pair of socks and they got plenty of uh, cool designs as well another big one shorts I've tried a lot of different pairs trying to find some that I liked and my favorites of all time are the Patagonia Strider Pros these are the five inch ones I got a bunch of pairs I got the seven inch ones they're all I run in they're super comfortable I love them I have got a pair of North Face Better Than Naked shorts. Those are good. Uh, the main thing that lets them down is the drawstring is on the inside of the waistband. I just don't get that. It doesn't work. It's got to be on the outside like that. This pocket on the back is really good because the material is super stretchy. My phone is a Google Pixel XL2. It's quite a big phone. It's like the size of an iPhone Plus for reference if you've never seen one. But I can fit that in that pocket. And then you got these pouch style pockets on the sides here, which are great for gels, nutrition, stuff like that. You can fit quite a lot of stuff in the pockets of these shorts. And because it's got a good drawstring on the outside, they don't fall down. So, favorite shorts, no question. If you've watched uh, my videos, you probably know I love Sealy hats. A normal trucker hat like this, it's just a little bit heavy, not quite breathable enough. These things, I mean, super light. They're comfortable, breathable. This is the fire panel style, which I like. But my favorite is the uh, mesh trucker hat style. And they look awesome. Heaps of different designs to choose from. It's probably why I have such a tough time finding gear that I like. Because I want stuff that works and I want stuff that looks good. Shades. This is an important piece of kit to me because I wear sunglasses all the time. I like having my eyes protected. I really can't go without them. And this is probably a pretty obvious one, but Alpinamente 2841s. These are a slightly smaller frame than the three, well, three two six fours. Uh, I like them both. I don't prefer one to the other, really. Uh, these are the photochromic lenses. The difference between these and the standard lenses is they change tint depending on the amount of UV light hitting them, which I really like. I like the standard lenses as well. These are about $50 more expensive. There's all sorts of different colors to choose from. They look great. I wear them as my everyday casual sunglasses, and they're great to run in because they've got these rubber grips that don't bounce around. They're awesome. If you want to grab a pair, you can use my discount code at checkout, which is DAN15 for 15% off. The watch, probably the most expensive piece of kit that you're going to own as a runner. This is a Garmin Phoenix 5 Sapphire. I've had it for about eight months. I use it every single day, and I've never had any problems with it. It does everything that I need, plus tons more. It's got stacks of features. Some of them are really useful. Some of them not so much. It's got wrist-based heart rate. Sometimes it seems bang on to me, then sometimes it 
seems off, but that's not really a big deal to me. The main things I need a watch to do is just track my miles, show me the data that I want to see while I'm running, which is duration, distance, current pace, average pace, lap time, just the usual general stuff. I can show four data fields per screen, which is really useful. Battery life solid. Longest I've used it for was the CCC, 14 hours and 40 minutes. I had about 20% left uh, when I finished, so that's pretty good going. Garmin Connect app, never had any problems with that. It's always synced fine, no dramas there. So I definitely recommend this thing. It is good. It is expensive though. Uh, so if you're not wanting to spend that much money on a watch, I would recommend the Sunto Ambit 3 Peak, which I had prior to this one, and that was great also. Shoes, Ultra, all I run in. I love them. They keep me injury free. I used to get bad shin pain just on one side from running in shoes with a drop. I tried some Ultras. It went away instantly and I've stuck with them ever since. I feel like I could run as many miles as I want in ultras and, and be all good. These are Superior 3.5s. I haven't had these too long. Probably done 150 k's in them. But I really like them. They're probably as minimal as a shoe that, that I've ever had. I tend to like more cushion shoes. But these just feel really good. The ground feel, the responsiveness. They fit my foot perfectly. I really like these. But... My favorite shoe ever, the Lone Peak 3. This pair in particular because I've got the Vibram Light Base outsole put on them at the UTMB Expo. Friggin' love these things. So that's all my go-to essential running items, but some ultra-specific stuff. Uh, the Nathan 12-liter pack for hydration vests. I love this thing. The fit is really adjustable. It's got adjustable side straps. You can really dial it in. And that is the most important part of a hydration pack, in my opinion, is getting the fit dialed. Uh, I've done a bit of a review on this pack. I'll link that in the description if you want to see you know, a bit more detail. But I really like this thing. Another pack that I like is the Salomon Advanced Skin 5L. I think that's what they call it these days. Uh, I just thought I'd mention this one because I haven't had the Nathan pack that long and I haven't done a race in it. I did the CCC wearing this pack and it worked flawlessly. It is a really good pack. Specifically recommend the newer version of it because it's got the dump pockets on the front which are just, they're really handy, really good for nutrition, just stuff you want to access easily on the run. It's a good pack. The Naked Running Belt, this is a waist pack. I use this for the CCC also, and it was a great way to carry my poles with these loops on the front, as well as pretty much all my nutrition was stored in here. You can, you can fit a lot of stuff in the pockets of this waist belt. It's comfortable. I pretty much just forgot I was wearing it, so I definitely recommend these. Poles that I use are the Lecky Micro Trail Pros. I really think that poles are a good idea for certain races, specifically mountain stuff, obviously, which is what I'm interested in. You look at UTMB, for example, now pretty much everyone's using poles, and it's for good reason. I think these are the best ones. They just never slip, which is one of the main reasons due to this super sharp tip. I don't know if you can see that. They just don't slip. You don't waste energy slipping a pole, which is crucial over the course of a long race. And then they've got the trigger grip system, which is this glove that you uh, wear on your hand, and then you connect to the pole with that loop. It slides in there. And that just allows you to sort of hang your hand off the grip. You don't always have to be gripping it super tight. These things are the best. So that's all my favorite pieces of gear after trying loads of different stuff over the years. Obviously, it's not an in-depth review of everything, but hopefully it can work as a guideline and, and it's been useful. If you've got any other questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll get back to you and I'll catch you in the next video.